Uh, this video is a postscript to the uh, series of videos on how you can use the grid component to create a store finder application and in that in those that series of videos we showed how you could use the uh, grid component to build an application that looked like this uh, but we didn't show how you could actually style the grid part of the um, uh, component so that the list of records found looked a little bit like like it does in this application over here so when we left off on the last video uh, the grid part uh, looked like this over here a, a standard grid but you can see in this example over here we've now styled the grid so that the uh, grid looks uh, more similar to the uh, sample application that we were uh, trying to indicate that you could build in the grid so what I want to discuss in this video is how we went from uh, this uh, standard grid layout over here to this layout over here which is also just a grid component so let's take a look at how we actually did that so first let's go to fields and you can see here that for the first field uh, what we've gone and done is we've said that there's a freeform template and then all of the other fields uh, over here you can see that we've checked the hide column property so every one of these fields is hidden uh, and the only uh, column that is displayed is the column for this distance from center field uh, and then we've gone into the freeform template over here so we've said it has a freeform template and then here's the freeform template editor and what we've created over here is a table control that has two columns uh, column one and column two in the left hand column we've put the image uh, which is um, the um, the image that that matches the image in the search part uh, after you do a search and then in the right hand column basically we have a single cell over here uh, we've put the name of the, uh, of the airport and we've put that uh, inside bold tags then we've put a BR to move to the next line then we've put the airport code and ID on the next line and then followed by a BR and then city country and state on the third line so you can see here we have a uh, single column here with uh, two columns of data uh, column one in the table and then there's column two in the table then uh, we've also turned off uh, column titles and the message indicating how many records were found and we've also turned off the row navigator at the bottom and then we've also turned off the ability to hover uh, over the um, row and highlight the row um, and we've also turned off the row selector so let's go look at those properties right now so starting at the top here you can see here that um, let's scroll down we've said that uh, there are no titles so we've turned that off uh, navigation bar we've turned that off as well um, then uh, what we've done over here is um, we've turned off highlight row on hover and we've turned off highlight row uh, on select and we've also turned off the row selector column uh, over there and um, and then finally this is how we turned off the total records message we've gone there and said that there are no messages in the grid so that shows you how easy it is to take a um, default looking grid which is just um, rows and columns of, of data uh, as you see in this example over here and by using freeform layouts uh, create uh, um, a much more structured um, a much more freeform layout that uh, approximates the uh, look in the sample application that we're targeting uh, in this video thanks very much